left me. He left me here. So I'll start by sort of roughing out this base here. This is for pulverizing charcoal. I'll add a little bit of a pit here, sort of a gouge, for the powder to collect in. And now I am not some talented carver, so I know this is rough. It's probably difficult to watch for some of you more talented than me. Get this to as fine a powder as you can. a bit of a challenge. I'm new to this too. That's it. Well, you've got a little bit of a fire going. You have to try to melt this. Now, no, you are heating up pitch, and this is flammable. So you have to be careful not to let that totally go up in flames. Once it starts boiling, it's highly flammable. And this stuff will stick to you. So you're kind of playing with napalm. You see it's just gone up like that. You can see the fire's finally gone out, and this is just resting on a bit of coals. You don't want to take any solid bits out like that. That's no good to us. So that doesn't seem bad. So from here, while it's still liquid, start adding charcoal. Heat up the coals a little bit, make sure that stays warm. Ideally you'd make a pitch stick, just where you repeatedly dip a stick in there until you have a solid coating. I think since this is coated in it, it's warm and ready to go. I'm just gonna try to use this. I think the color and consistency will match very nicely on here. Now this begun to cool off, that feels really rigid actually. Yeah, I think I might ride down the hill where we were earlier. Just sort of look around. We'll gather a bit more dry grass for starting the next fire. And 
and you know, get a little exercise. This winter was not kind to me. You know, as you might have figured out already, my shirts didn't make it into my backpack, apparently. I got all other clothing, but no shirts. I think I'm still going to take a shower, but, uh, yeah, that sucks. I've heard that, uh, smoking the shirt over the fire a little bit helps, you know, sort of a smoke bath. Mostly I think it's going to smell like a nicely cured cut of bacon, but, oh well, what am I going to do? Well, sunset's beautiful tonight. I think I'm probably gonna tuck in early tonight. Um, supposed to be some bad weather tomorrow. Thunderstorms in the afternoon. That sucks, might be stuck inside all day. Um, so I walk up hearing some raccoons in the distance, making that, you know, crazy sound they make. And I decided that Having my food so close to me just goes against all my instincts. You know, when I camp out in bear country and stuff, we have a bear locker away from camp. Then, if we're car camping, we got a car to put our food in. So, having my food right next to me kind of was weirding me out. So, I threw a bear bag. A uh, quote-unquote bear bag. More like, um... But I put my top quilt in, my underquilt. Stuff full of food hanging from a tree. But, you know, feels a little safer. I'd hate to be invaded by those red squirrels. You saw those things? They're getting bold, man. They're, like, walking right up to me. Trying to steal my bread. There's a green fly. There's a green fly in here with me. Good evening, Mr. Giant Wolf Spider. What are you doing so close to me? Well, I woke up around 5 and it was foggy and windy, so I stayed in bed. It's about 10 o'clock now, so I think I'm gonna get up. I decided I should gather some firewood before I start my breakfast fire, so I'm going to run down the hill and try to collect some deadfall. I've mostly got pine left, so I'm going to aim for oak. That's slow burning stuff. I I'm just going to have a quick breakfast here. I'm going to try this granola with milk and blueberries. It says to add cold water. Which I think is weird, right? It's weird. Okay. Half a cup. I said stir to wet the ingredients so it doesn't even need to rehydrate. I think. But, um, ants got into the rest of my 
uh, evaporated milk, condensed milk, excuse me. So I'm gonna run in, grab some stuff. You saw that my food bags are kind of full, but it's a lot of stuff that I'd like to hang on to. I only brought it because it was already packed up in my tote. It looks horrible. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can find some some kind of container to put some that condensed milk in. Get a little more ant resistant. You don't feel too bad about your bike not working. I've got some strong legs, I guess. Maybe I'll spend my whole body weight on it or something. I don't know. Oh well. bits that we've done the hill. This stuff's really tough and fibrous. Thank you. 